Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa. We are now become, starting with seven, after respective state during their chair and for Sri Lanka to hold the chair of this important grouping and the fraternity and overcome these Excellencies, South Asia is home to the vast majority of the poor people and poverty elevation has been the foremost goal of the association. SARC has in hand the action plan on poverty alleviation and on achievement of SARC development goals and the social charter. Our energies should remain focused on action to translate agreed regional policies and approaches for alleviating poverty into concrete regional programs and projects. In line with summit directives that the South Asia of SARC We in the region of South Asia today face several common challenges. Common challenges require collective responses. Terrorism is such a challenge and it requires our immediate and united at attention due to the impact it has on all of us in one way or another. Our societies bear the burden of the evil forces of terrorism. But we cannot and should not allow even a single citizen of South Asia to suffer as a result of the brutal violence unleashed by terrorists. An opportunity will come for the private sectors. Therefore, it is imperative that we think regionally as to how we could help each other. We need to strengthen the regional economy and consolidate our bilateral trade and our financial system so that we, as a region, we remain strong. Such an approach will not only promise the economic well-being of our people, but will also help us to bring about and sustain peace and stability in region. And bring in every SARC state. Therefore, at this point in time, we need to explore how we could provide a stable economic environment for our people. In the face of this global challenge, for this purpose, I re-emphasize that the importance of regional initiatives. The president and the heads of delegations will now answer the president as well as the heads of delegations and the secretary general.